Building engineering basically is everything that kind of makes up how a building operates and functions on a day-to-day -day basis. It's everything that services a building, from your heating, cooling, ventilation, lighting services, electrical services, it's everything that makes a building habitable. Because the value of building services going to building today is quite, quite substantial. Years ago, the envelope of the building was the actual most expensive part of it. However, today, it tends to be the actual building engineering services that go into the building are responsible for a substantial amount of the actual budget allocated to the capital cost for building. Buildings of the future need to be energy efficient, and in order to do that, we need to use simulation programs. So before a building is built, we can simulate how the building is going to operate over the time the building is going to be used. We take an architect's drawing into building modelling software, we change its orientation, we change the glazing ratios, we shade the building, we work very, very hard to reduce the energy consumption of the building and then we put all the services into the building, so the heating, the water, the lighting, the daylighting. Building modelling is uh, mostly about energy efficiency but also about effective heating design. And I also teach uh, water services where we design how to get water in, around and out of a building uh, efficiently. I lecture in fluid mechanics, thermodynamics and refrigeration. Refrigeration is of paramount importance to building engineering because of the large carbon footprint that buildings consume and in the future design of sustainable buildings if we can reduce that carbon footprint by the designing of our chillers to use less energy then that is the way forward. I lecture in computational fluid dynamics which is the simulation of the detailed flows within the building it's used across all aspects of industry such as everything from the aerospace industry to environmental engineering and we uh, model the detail of the flow within buildings, within heat exchangers and other applications such as solar panels and this is vital for the detailed design of, uh, of buildings and of all kinds of engineering systems and is generally applicable across all branches of engineering. My focus is ensuring that the students get a good education in both management and technology to be able to go out into industry and help effectively save the planet by being adaptive to the challenges that society will ask of them in engineering in the future. And it's a constant circular process of design, which is what makes it so exciting, really, because every project is different and every building is different, and it requires a number of skill sets from the engineer. The demand for building engineers is that great that they're, we're in the top three highest paid engineers. It is a very sustainable career. There are ten times as many jobs as there are graduates, and it's sustainable going forward because the climate change targets are that great. I want to be a building engineer as I was doing constructions in school and it was something I was very good at so I was actually advised to do building engineer. I wanted to become a building engineer to further my employment uh, opportunities and uh, continue on my education. Uh, I started out as a plumber with a trade background so building engineering is really the next uh, progressive step on from being a tradesman. I chose building engineering because I have huge interest in engineering and there's huge job opportunities involved. It seemed like one of the more interesting courses, as well as one of the, more, one of the ones that would be teaching you practical skills. I want to be a building engineer because I'd rather hold a pen than a screwdriver. To travel abroad and to see the world. I want to be a building engineer because there's plenty of career opportunities. I want to be a building engineer because you can travel the world. I want to be a building engineer because the prospects are unlimited. We could be part of the design, we could be part of the installation. It's up to yourself, there's so many different avenues to go to. And so far, I have to say it is definitely quite interesting. <laughs>